Hi, GW family. It's Mika, a GW walker in this beautiful experience called life. I am sharing from the great lands of Long Island today, and today is Take Time Tuesday. So I hope you guys, wherever you are, you're taking your time. That's what we're talking about right now as we shine, right? So walking, talking, and building is what we're doing on this Take Time Tuesday, right? So what I want to first start by uh, just sharing with you all as we walk and talk is that um we tend to always be hustling bustling running around and just doing so many different things right we're multifaceted multi-talented creative you know we have we 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 wear so many different crowns right if you're not a parent you're a business owner, an employee, a worker, you're a student, you know, you're a family member, and that spans from mother to sister, sibling to aunt, or uncle, right? So it's important that while we interchange these crowns that we wear, that we really take time, you know, take time to breathe and just be grateful, like to wake up this morning. We always say that you know, to be better than yesterday, but just imagine, take time to just be grateful for that, right? We woke up today, we're breathing today. We're able to press reset on whatever situation and start to change, right? So just take time, take time to just smell the roses, <laughs> you know, especially if they're in season, you know, just take time for yourself. So when it's take time, self-care Tuesday I hope that you guys are putting yourself on the top of the list of things right you'll get to it when you can you have to take time for yourself you know studies show that anxiety depression burnout you know it has affect globally trillions of dollars when it comes to productivity when it comes to school when it comes to business in the workplace. So it's imperative that we take our wellness days, you know, where you just take a reset, where you're just staying away from any kind of laborious work, nothing excessive, and you just take the day off to just kind of like woosaw and find your zen. So as long as we're doing that, it makes all the difference because if we don't pour, how can we pour into others if we don't pour into ourselves first? Right, what's in my cup is for me, but what overflows is for everybody that I can give it to, right? So it's important that we make ourselves a priority. And I know the parents in the house, and even a business, when you work, you're doing your doubles for those who's like, look, I'm about that double life, right? I'm about doing, you know, 15 to 18 hour day shifts, right? That we work and we work and we work. When you have that business, it's like team no sleep, right? You tend to hear that quite often when it comes to going for your goals, right? But the studies show that without enough sleep, long term, it can affect us in so many ways. So it's important for us to take time for ourselves, you know, write that letter, take time to write that letter, journal, you know, take time to just... Take a minute and be like, you know, what do I need to get done today? Who do I need to call today? What family member I should reach out to today, right? It's important. So, especially when you haven't seen each other in a very long time, or if that, and it's important because we know family is one of like the number one reason why we do all that we do, right? So take time to reach out to that aunt, that uncle, that sibling, that cousin, that family friend that you have. Thanksgiving just now passed, right? And you, for most, took time to be with your family. Reach out and text somebody, call somebody, just to check up and see how they're doing, right? So it's important that we make a note of it along the path of life and just take time to just not only pour into others, but also pour into ourselves so we can pour more into others. So if we're depleted and we're burnt out, you're going to forget. I know for me, 
I texted as many people that I could have, but it was busy that day. So I said, you know what? Through this week, between cooking, you know, and just, you know, running errands, and just building my business that I need to take time to also just connect with other family members. And I'm due for a self-care day, I must say, right? So I'm, applying, I'm putting my thoughts into practice, right? I'm like, no, you know, because we had all the shopping that we were doing over the week, preparation for our family members. I know I'm not the only one here that felt that, right? Many people felt that way. Many people wanted, to, you know, you put yourself last, so you put everybody else first, right? So just having that spirit of giving, the spirit of service, we tend to a lot of times do things and it's like we may burn out, you know, we can burn out. So we want to make sure that we're not doing that. So today for take time, take time, we want to make sure that you're taking your time, triple T, right? Take time Tuesday. You're just taking your time and doing what it is that you need to do for you. It's important. It's important, right? Some things that I started to put into practice. And they also say that, you know, you want to, one, start to regularly get outside, get that sun. You see it right there, right? Get outside and walk. Start doing regular exercises. Walking is a great method. Jumping is another one. Shout out to Fit Life Germ, I might add. The Young King, one of our GW brothers. Just going to tip my crown to you and say thank you so much. As we all know, there's a, there's a challenge, 50 to 100 steps. Hello, I see you, NYC Curly Doc. How you doing? Happy Take Time Tuesday, Queen. Boss lady, how are you, right? But I wanted to just say for Jeremy, thank you for just doing the, the challenge. And Shari, also known as NYC Curly Doc, also known as Hot Doc, right thank you for doing the challenge too family if you did not see it please make sure that you look up send some love send some likes and also just join just do it let the inner kid or the inner child in you win today right as you take in time but um we were just speaking we were just speaking on self-care and taking time for ourselves and I'm not sure if you're available to speak or not today, but if not, we'll definitely do it for another day coming as well. But just let me know. Give me the green light. You can put in the invite and we can talk about it. But we want to... <laughs> real time, right? Real time walking in and talking as we do. So we want to make sure that in the space of self-care, health and wellness, that we're not only just taking time for our loved ones and you know we do stuff for them but when we're taking time for ourselves i'm planning on doing a spa day as i said before i will share with you guys and tell you all about it tomorrow but i'm like you want to make sure that besides journal says so power in writing write that letter to yourself that love letter to yourself or just 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 the book that's in you everyone has a book in them right that someone needs to read to be inspired to do more Start to take time and just write that out. Healthier eating. I'm a foodie, as I shared with you before. You already know this, right? But putting into practice more water to be more hydrated and eating more greens versus more starches and carbs has been something that I've been putting more into practice as of late. You know, so it's important why well, he needs to take his time <laughs> speaking to that person. He went straight through the stop line. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But I, but I just wanted to just share that with you guys today. That we want to make time for what we're eating. We want to make time for what we're reading and what we're doing. We want to make sure that we are pouring. She, NYC Curly Doc says, I'm down to talk whenever it, it works for the community. I'm an open book. Ooh! And I know you are a page turner, right? Come on, boss lady. Well, I mean, if you want, feel free. We can come on. Um, it, it works for you because I know you're busy. We'd love to talk to you. And this will just be one of the many other uh, conversations that we will have. So um, I will put in a request for you to join as we speak. Let me just take time. 
on this build. So family, make sure that you get your pen and papers out. You're about to meet this beautiful woman. And she's gonna drop some gems for you, especially with it being Diabetes Awareness Month. So about a few things that we can put into practice ASAP right now. So, hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, better than yesterday. You know that's what we do over here. Yes, I'm AKA, I'm doing good too. I'm doing good too. That's please, always great to hear. Please share with everyone who you are. For those who may not already know, the world should know, but they don't know, please remind them of who you are before we continue to talk and walk together. I see that you're freezing up a little bit. The internet is being interesting, so we're going to refresh. But family, if you don't already follow NYC Curly Doc, please make sure you do so. And if you're not yet a part of the GW community, please, you're welcome to follow us as well. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. The internet. Every time we have something great to talk about, I mean, every day is a great day. But every time we have to, like, drop some real boulders or gems of knowledge, it never fails. But it's okay, because we're going to push through it anyway. So, Shari, you should be able to see that amino. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Am the I internet, back? girl. Welcome I, to the madness of lives. I We're think gonna... I put something by mistake. That's my mistake. <laughs> yeah. That's no, okay. Well, go ahead. Hold on now. Here we go again with this. Okay, I see here that Lexi. See if you can come back in. I'll do it again. Let's see. Come on, internet. Stop back. No, it's not. Maybe it's because I'm in a basement. Hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I mean, if you if you, if you can't move while we walking, it's fine. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna sit. <laughs> You'll sit this one out, no problem. You sent in your receipts anyway. No, so, you know, listen. We can <laughs> still talk. We can still talk. I'm just not gonna be walking with you. Put it like that. <laughs> So much going on. How, so let's 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 talk a little bit. Absolutely, here for it. So um, well first, cause we we have to you have to give you a proper introduction. So please share with the world who you are before we continue and start chatting it up. Um. So my name is Shari. I am. Uh, how do I, how do I don't even know how to introduce myself? But I'm a mom. I have one boy. He's 12 years old. Um, I'm a business owner. I own a, a boutique, a clothing boutique. We serve fashion for women and men. Um, I'm a doctor. I work in an emergency department. That's my specialty. Um, <laughs> I, I love fitness. Uh, that's actually where I'm coming from. Just finished up at the gym. I love weight training. I love it all, really. Um, and yeah, like I'm an advocate. I'm an advocate for my people. Um, I, I try to do my best in this world to not only uh, do well for myself and my family, but to contribute to the well-being of others as well. So that's why I think we connect so well. Look now, a queen of many trades. Okay. <laughs> a queen of many trades. You wear many crowns and you're making it happen. So I just want to say thank you again, because I... Fam, if you do not already follow her, make sure you do so, okay? A lot of great information. So we can talk fashion, we can talk fitness, we can talk health, we can talk, like, so you cover all grounds with this. Which, which we're, we're... Look, whatever you want to talk about, I'm down for it. I know we were discussing that it's Diabetes Awareness Month, the month of November. Um, so maybe, I don't know if people want to hear more about that. I, I saw that you were just at a, um, an event uh where you i guess got to try some great alkaline based foods um i mean whatever whatever works for you what do the people want to hear about well okay we're, well you know we'll start off with the food first the food was great the alkaline food was everything i know i told everybody that yesterday but i'm still happy off of it have me thinking and looking at recipes today because my journey i'm, I'm currently currently a flexitarian as i shared and I didn't, I didn't really think that was a word until i looked i was like but that really is like a term that people use so i'm like okay we're gonna rock with that mm -hmm. but i'm on my journey to become more vegetarian more plant-based so i was pleasantly surprised 
when we showed up at Alkaline Amateurs. Now, Sam, please follow them too. Look through the posts, you'll be able to see them. But I had an amazing time with that. But I, and uh, diabetes runs in my family. So it's something that's dear to my heart when I think about it because, you know, you can see, you know, the range of what can happen in between having being diagnosed. So I would love for you to just share from the scope of being a doctor, what have you seen or your, you know, observe when it comes to like lifestyle, the demographics mm -hmm. um, that's mostly affecting and how we can probably, you know, just change up some things where we can change the storyline to that. I hear you. You know, um, I like to look at it like this with when it comes to diabetes, there are things that you can that you have you have the power over to avoid like things you have control over and things you have no control over and as you mentioned i guess the things that you have no control over would be if there is a predisposition of some kind and that would be if there's some genetic predisposition like it runs in your family we know certain ethnic groups are more susceptible to developing diabetes um, or even certain medical conditions um, like polycystic ovarian syndrome or um, gestational diabetes, like having diabetes during pregnancy, that all poses as a risk. But the things that you can control, that's what we're here for. Um, and I think a large part of that is how you choose to live your life. Um, the lifestyle choices that you make, what you put in your mouth, how you move your body, just your daily decisions, um, which a lot of us, unfortunately, being in a world where there's so much at our fingertips, somehow we can't maintain the discipline to, you know, stay in control of. Um, so yeah, so food choices being number one, um, that's important if you, if you already know you have a genetic predisposition, like it runs in your family, there are certain indigenous groups, Hispanic population, um, black population as well, that are more susceptible. Um, now you want to say, okay, so what can I do in order to um, make better choices in, in food, um, food choices? So that's important. So may we not be led <laughs> by the taste only of it all, right? That's right. It takes a lot of discipline. I mean, you can look at like all the, the major food groups, right? Like your starches and you can say, well, the body does need carbs, um, but you just want to choose wisely. So you want to choose like the whole grains, things with no added sugars, um, as opposed to processed grains like white rice and white flour and um, like cereals with little to no whole grains and mostly sugar, you know, like it's making those sorts of choices. And your proteins, you want to choose like plant-based proteins or um, those lean proteins like your fish and seafood or chicken and poultry like turkey, um, eggs, you know, so it's, it's like making choices in each food group that you know, okay, this is good versus bad. And it, it all comes from education, you have to like be willing to learn and know what it is that you are putting in your mouth. So that's where awareness comes in. So we need to make sure that we are up on our awareness, we know exactly what we're doing because a lot of times I know we're flavorful folk. We love things seasoned, spicy, sweet. If it's not too sweet, it's a problem. It's like, hold on, where's the sugar? And it's like, I've started to stay even away from like brown sugar and agave and started to go more towards like stevia. Like things like, you know, allowed me that allows for me and my, through my journey, not too much sugar in it. And I don't want to like put it, make people feel like bad or like a slap on the wrist if you make a bad choice here or there. I mean, every honestly, it's like that. It's all about balance, right? Like, if you're gonna consciously make a decision about what you eat, sometimes it's also are you in a food desert? Are you in an area where all you have at your fingertips are the things that are not that great for you? That's where they have like I think. I don't know who is in charge of it, but that's where you see farmers markets popping up in certain areas because they know in these areas it's harder to get the whole, um, like the green leafy vegetables and things like that. So that's where like the community is important in advocating for themselves. Um, but it's okay if once in a while you have a slice of bread or a bagel or whatever, it's just, you don't want that to be something that you're doing on a regular basis. And then it's affecting, you know, how you, uh, everything, how you live every day. 
Well, I'm looking, I think I shared, you may, you may know, with it being the new year, because I'm like, I'm going for my next 20. I see you in the gym doing your thing. And I'm like, I need to, I'm coming on to the tribe of gym enthusiasts. That's my goal at the end of it. But it first starts, like you said, with your palate, what we're eating. Would you say that when it comes to exercise and diet choices, that that may change certain, uh, like your A1Cs may be better, like, be better or like um we have a may, may, would would with exercise i'm getting tongue twisted on this one because it's a bit as i said to the heart but when it comes to a1c's your, your sugar levels um eating better would you say that someone should also incorporate lots of exercise at least 30 minutes of exercise 30 minutes of walking like what would also be like to, the add-on to the experience to get a better outcome Wow, that's a really, really good question. So let's just talk about, because I don't want to like just throw the terms around and nobody understands. So what is diabetes? Basically, when we eat foods, we eat for energy. Like our cells need the glucose that it breaks your carbs down into to get energy. So when you eat something that has carbs, it, your body breaks it down into the simplest form, and that's glucose. So now your sugar, which is glucose, is circulating in your blood but it's not yet in your cells. Your cells need it for energy. So now it has to break it down and absorb it. And that's where this thing called insulin comes in. Your body naturally makes insulin to break down the sugar and bring it into the cells for energy, right? So now the problem with diabetes is there's type one where you kind of have it from childhood and that's autoimmune. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the one you can develop as you get older and based on your lifestyle as we're discussing. So now that's type two. Uh, most people are in this pre-diabetic, probably heard this term, pre-diabetic phase, right? And when they have pre-diabetes, it means they're not officially diagnosed with diabetes, but in the four to six years, if you're going along like this, it can develop into that. So the A1C, as you just alluded to, is this blood test that we do that can average how your sugars have been over the last 120 days like just on average, and then there's by percent. So like if you're greater than like, I think it's 5.7 to like six and a half percent or so, that's pre-diabetes and anything higher than that is officially now diabetes. This is a test that your doctor may do routinely, but this is why we're talking because we want to educate the community that you can advocate for yourself when you go to your doctor, which you should go to a doctor at least once a year to get your annual, you would say, hey, can you do a test for diabetes or can you check my A1C? And that would be one sure way to at least know whether or not you're at risk or where you are on the spectrum. Um, all right, so that's that. Now you say, okay, well, we're talking about, all right, well, foods, the foods that we eat, how, how can that affect us? And how, can, how could people get diabetes from that? Well, if you're eating all the bad stuff, the bad choices, like the worst choices in each food group, um, or if you're overweight, right, that means you ha have a higher number of fat cells in your body. And those fat cells kind of block the key from entering the lock, right? So the key in the lock would be insulin trying to get the glucose into your cells. If you have a lot of fat, it can't happen. So then all that sugar is just circulating in the blood and it can't get into the cells because it's too much fat. So the research says, okay, if you drop your weight by like 5 to 10%, then you can decrease your risk of getting diabetes if you're pre-diabetic by at least 60%, which is crazy. So if that's 30 minutes a day of vigorous, moderate to vigorous exercise. It could be cardio, it could be weightlifting, it could be calisthenics, it could be whatever. You just gotta move, you know, like move, lose weight. You can do caloric restriction. You can eat less um, by at least 500 calories a day. Just make sure it's nutrient dense and good for you. And if you lose at least five to 10% of your body weight, which is not a lot, then those that adipose cells, those fat cells are less and therefore your weight is better. And now you can, your body is more sensitive to insulin and it will work, right? So there's a lot of prevention, prevention being the best medicine. And again, that's all through lifestyle changes. So when it comes to exercise, yeah, we talk about diet, Diet's important because you cannot exercise away a bad diet. But if you're eating well and exercising, it's like we're good. And 30 minutes is not a lot. People think it's a lot to, to have to get up and always go to the gym, et cetera. 
you don't have to go to the gym if this is your goal. It really depends on what your goals are, but you want to be active to be sedentary and to be sitting down all day, especially for those of us who have like desk jobs or work from home. It's more of a conscious decision to like say, I'm going to get up and move. So take like a snack, a 15 minute exercise snack and just go outside and walk, get your heart rate up, power walk a little bit do some jump squats, do lunges, like do something for 15 minutes to get your heart rate up by at least 50% or 100%. So yeah, I think that wasn't too much. No, it was everything that we needed, family. I hope that you are taking notes. Okay, <laughs> take the notes and then, take, then send it over to others. The playback, Shari, thank you. Because, you know, it, it's tough because like, you might say, all right, well, what's the symptoms? Like, what am I looking for to know if I might be pre-diabetic or diabetic? And to be truthful for, with you, the number one symptom is no symptom at all. So we could be walking around thinking I'm young and I'm healthy and I don't have any problems. I don't need to see the doctor. I don't, da, 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 da. but when you wake up in the morning, your sugar is high and you don't know it, you might not have symptoms. It's when it becomes late stage, you might get certain things that you notice, like the skin around the back of your neck or armpits might be dark or you might be urinating a lot more, or you might be very, very thirsty with a dry mouth. You might start to notice those things, but by then you're no longer in this pre-stage or early diabetic stage. You're probably already like with the high, high sugar and those symptoms are already manifesting. So the most common symptom is no symptom. And that's why it's important to manage, you know, by following up and just getting your routine care. Don't go to your doctor and say, test me for everything. Don't do that. You wanna say what you're interested in looking for. Like, can you do a test to make sure I don't, I'm not at risk or developing diabetes? Or can you take my cholesterol? Or can you do STD testing? Like, don't just say, test me for everything. Cause I get that a lot. You can't just, you can't just test for everything. You have to say like, what exactly you're worried about or your family history that makes you concerned and wanna be like on top of it. Look, if I to pick up that this gem that you are giving everyone family, we have no reason not to stay healthy with the information that Shari, Doctor Shari, I'm like, I got the white coat, got to got to got to give you the props, got to tip my crown to you, Queen, got to do that. Thank you because we don't know, we don't know, we don't know what to do. We'd be thinking like, okay, we're eating a certain way. The power of habit is at least 21 days to break, to start a new habit and break an old one. A lot of times it seems like that's an uphill battle for most, but when you give information, like look, 30 minutes, change it up a bit with your eating, pre-diabetic versus being diabetic, and to know that there's ways to, 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 to just like to, to negate that and to stop it altogether. It's like, all right, I can, I can, you're literally, again, standing in a gap helping others to understand like look this is not this doesn't have to be your story this does not have to be the ending of it and a lot of times you don't see that i remember one time i forgot it was a podcast that i was watching and it was it was sad to see because this was affluent and black men that are athletes and the power of their palate took over and they were like look most of my family are what diabetic amputated legs that's normal and because they love it so much the power habit of it all like they're like look this is just how we've been for years and this is nothing new to us and it's like when how do we then start to change and I, it was puzzled me because i was just like you're wealthy you should be a like i'm assuming you're, you're a former athlete how do you how, and i'm not bashing anyone i'm just simply saying i'm like if they feel that same way, many other people probably feel the same way too. So yeah. I was like, okay, how do we change that? Because yeah. when you don't know, or you think that this is just what life is, and it's always been like that generationally, then you pretty much kind of just fall in, into the same space of it, you know? Yeah. People, people do use family history as a scapegoat, and it doesn't have to be. Um, you can, you, I'm not saying it's 100% preventative, but it's a large portion preventative. It's never one thing that brings someone over the cusp to developing diabetes. You can have a predisposition. You can have a family history. It could be strong in your family, but it doesn't mean that you will develop it. It's all about, again, 
multiple factors. And if one of those factors, like I said in the beginning, there's things you can control and things you can't control. We already know we can't control this family history, but the things you can control, that would be purely your lifestyle choices. And that's through diet and exercise and weight maintenance. All more the reason to get up family. And we, we say it here, you might hear us often say that too, Shari. We say, take your lunch break and make it a walk break. The reason why we do 30 minute walks a day through this podcast, or through this share every day that we do, is because like, look guys, let's walk together. Even when you can't walk with us, because you might start your shift a different time, you might be off today, just get out, just move. And especially after the pandemic, I've seen that they were saying that hypertension, on the rise, diabetes on the rise because, and it's like the hangover after the pandemic, if you will, because it's like everyone is coming out now, but for two years, you weren't really active. For two years, you probably are eating poorly. And it's like now showing up. Have you seen that as well as a spike in, in that as well? Hell yeah, <laughs> we've seen it. And it's not just those things, psychiatrically with mental health, we're seeing things. It's a lot. It's a lot, I mean, across the board, even like cancer screenings, all of it, because of the pandemic, patients couldn't or wouldn't um, see their doctors because of availability, obviously. And, and, and now it's like a lot of the complaints I see in the ER come with a backstory. It's diminishing now, so, but with a backstory of, oh, well, this is what happened before in 2020, whatever, and, or in 2019, late 2019, I was supposed to follow up in 2020, but I couldn't due to the pandemic. And it's always you hear due to the pandemic because it really did affect people uh, in many ways. Um, so I think definitely like we got to get back on our game. And that's exactly what we do in here, step by step. Talk mm -hmm. by talk. Sister, thank you so much for showing up. I know that we're, and we're going to have many more bills. So family, please follow Dr. Sherry. Okay. If you don't already follow her, I see people are in the comments as well. They're asking if we do this every Tuesday. We do this every day with the exception to Sunday because I got to get my word in with our Heavenly Father, right? But we do this pretty much every day. So feel free to follow us. This is the Health Hub. Everyone here is about health, wellness, community, and unity in real time. So if you didn't know, got no excuse now. You do know now, right? So I will say this, Shari. Again, thank you so much. Um, I see somebody here. They want to come in. I think they, might, they may have some questions. If anyone has any questions, this will be the perfect time before we close out so you can get them answered as well. I see here that Rhonda Gooden is in the building as well. Quality quality rest queen is in the building How, okay i see that sorry the sun is in my eyes family i see hollywood one one four two three is also in the building as well family please make sure you follow dr shari she's doing her thing and if you don't follow us please do so too but um what i guess i, want I would say go ahead, you go. i want to say thank you because i think i met you over the summer and it's it's crazy the connections right but it was a friend of mine whose son gets her hair cut, um, uh, tell me his name, I can't remember. Clay? Is it Clay Scopes? Yes. And brother Clay? I think I saw you guys on a live. I hopped on. We were walking outside. It was beautiful. I remember the trees, all the colors, right? And then since then, you and I have connected. And, and I think what I, I say all of that to say is... Um, the common theme is that we're leading by example. And I think that we all have that responsibility as humans, not again, it's a responsibility to ourselves, but to others as well. We're not just saying do this and do that, but in a positive light, you we're up and about, we're showing it. So when you go on my page, you'll see a lot of content surrounding my business uh, in, in fashion, but you'll see a lot of content surrounding fitness. Cause I'm not just talking about this to my patients and saying, you need to get up and get moving and do this and weight train and resistance train and cardio. I, I'm trying to live by example. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not only saying it, but I am showing it. So I want to give you your flowers as well, because this is very empowering. You do this every day. I think you probably have lost count of how long it's been, but I know you already crossed a hundred days a long time ago, but keep it up. Keep it up. Um, always supportive. Thanks for having me. 
you know, I think that this is one of many to come, like any time, like I'm willing to jump on. And so long as I have the time and availability, I'm willing to give you the info, the knowledge, we can talk, whatever it is you like. <laughs> like I'll pull up at a gym one day and ask you to train me too, okay? <laughs> Open invite. I will definitely do it. Look, Shari, thank you so much. We are literally about to make ninety. Our, we're about to make nine months. So our anniversary is December 9th for the ninth wow. month anniversary. So please send in your receipts, family. What does that simply mean? You get outside. You start walking. You go ahead. You track it on your Fitbit. Or your phone. If you don't have a watch, it's okay because your smartphone will track your steps. Take a picture of it, picture of it, and send it in to us. We've done over 6.9 million steps together. I say that proudly every day because it's all voluntary. You don't have to do it. You choose to do it because you're showing up for yourself, and we get to celebrate you while you do it. Like, what better win is that? So on this health hub, fam, let's continue to grow. Let's continue to build. I see also that Chris Fit Gamers in the building. How are you doing? As well. I see quality is in the building as well. Family, look, let's just continue to connect the dots because that's exactly what we're doing when it comes to health. So you already know, Shari. We, got, we, have, we probably have some workout dates and some other dates also to talk about. Dr. Shari, thank you so much for just giving your time and dropping these gems. Guys, though we're closing out Diabetes Awareness Month, it's an ongoing dialogue with yourself. Make sure that you have a PCP that represents you, that speaks to you, speak, and you feel that you're being heard, and then you both can then heal together right that's the goal here together to get better together every day so we already know when we see this you know what time it is so please just join with me in our prayer before we continue with our day you see god's gifts voila Mm -hmm. the many other things that he's given us to enjoy in this experience of life. Father God, thank you so much for this sisterhood and brotherhood of amazing people coming together for your cause. We walk proudly and boldly, Lord, when it comes to just the matters at hand of our sister and our brothers. We are each other's keeper. Father God, continue to just pour in our hearts purpose, Lord, that everything that we're doing is for you. That when people see us, they don't see us, they see you. Lord, thank you so much for this information that was given this eve this afternoon. May, may people not only hear it, but then go ahead and apply it in real time. And then on top of that, just bring somebody else with them, Lord. Okay. There's power in numbers. May we gather together to be great. We know that we can change stories with just a little bit of information. So may we continue to, just be, continue to connect people that have the knowledge that we can then provide, that we can be the change that we want to see. So Heavenly Father, on this beautiful Take Time Tuesday, we're taking the time out to just give you thanks. We're taking the time out to say thank you for the people that you are connecting us with. And just thank you. We're taking the time to say thank you for this beautiful gift called life. Please forgive us where we may fall short, for we are yours. And may we aspire to every, every day to be better than yesterday. So we say this in yes, son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, family. All right, guys. I see that here. Um, Shari, heart to heart girl. Look, we got to link up in real time one of these days. I just want to let you know that. But right here is a great place to always be with you as well. So um, I see there's one other person here. I know I see Alexa27. I'm not sure if you know that person. We are closing out. But if you have a question, I guess now would be the time before we go. Okay, I think that they may have gone on. It's okay, we'll get family to do this every day, so we'll see you tomorrow. So until then, take care, stay blessed. And Sherry, thank Dr. you. Dr. Sherry, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mika, bye, until okay. next time. Yes, until next time, stay blessed. Peace,